Hello and welcome to the Philippines. I'm showing you some older clips in this video to show you a little bit about uh, life in the Philippines, what you might see and experience, and uh, talk a little bit about uh, the present time and uh, a little bit about the future as well. Uh, these guys will carry anything and everything on motorbikes. In this case, four by eight sheets of plywood. And they had a couple of guys, three guys on the other motorbike, and uh, had some cement, some paint, and I don't know what else they were carrying on, on their bike. Anyway. Don't drop it! Don't! Can I get on the back? No, no. <laughs> In front? <laughs> Be safe! I think this was 2016, the year 2016, and uh, I was actually up hunting for a, I had found a Home Depot online, and I was up that, that road they're going to go up, turn the right on. It shows on the map that there's a Home Depot up there, and I knew it wasn't the same Home Depot back in the U.S., different parts of the world, but I wanted a little bit of lumber. There's other, uh, I'm not the, what you call a truck pool. Hello! <laughs> That's called carpooling. Once you get out of the bigger cities, uh, the culture changes rapidly. What you'll see changes rapidly. Uh, law enforcement, traffic <laughs> enforcement changes rapidly. Uh, one thing I love about the Philippines is uh, is the freedom they still have, just like when I was, when I was a, a, a kid. You could go and get lost uh, for the day and your parents really didn't know where you were at. They were happy when you showed up, I think, most of the time. And uh, anyway, that, that clip with the guys in the, in the truck, that was on Bohol, uh, up by Anda, on I think the east side of Bohol Island. Where there's some white sand beaches up there. And we were looking for a, uh, a waterfall, I believe, down that road. Anyway, this is up Malapasqua Island, which is a smaller island up nor on the north end of Cebu Island. And went up there with a, with a group of people, friends actually, and uh, that is where I learned to scuba dive. And uh, I've scuba dived uh, once since then up uh, over on Moal, Boal, on the west side of Cebu City. Not Cebu City, Cebu Island, a uh, popular diving destination. And we're, we've rented, we've got three, got, uh, got a driver that, who we hired and then two, uh, two passengers on each bike. And we're going around, we're taking a tour. We're going to stop at, uh, at a beach. Things on this. At a uh, an abandoned, uh, big abandoned uh, resort that was damaged in the typhoon in 2013, and I believe the the B B Resorts have bought that up, plan on uh, building a, a big development up there in the uh, future. This is part of what the Philippines has to offer. You've got uh, you've got 7,000 islands. Uh, a person commented uh, a long time ago said, that's too confusing to me. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, actually, 99% of people are only going to be worried about three, four, or five islands. If you're really a traveler, maybe, uh, maybe 11 to 20 some islands. And that's, that's not counting the little islands that you go from this island to another. You know, you can go island hopping when you're on one of these these islands, uh, each and every little place. Island hopping is a big, uh, you can see maybe way over in the distance, there's an island over there. What was the name of that lady up there? So you can stay in the cities and enjoy all the convenience of the cities. Actress lives up there, Pilar. Another day we stopped there and, and she was uh, laying out in a hammock and she was very, very friendly, chatted with us, took some pictures with uh, a few of them. So you have the option to stay in the, in the, in the various cities, the larger size cities like 
like Manila area, Angeles, uh, Cebu City, uh, Iloilo, Bacola, Baguio, which is higher and cooler up north of uh, Manila, about uh, 5,000 feet, I believe, 3,000 kilometer, not kilometers, 3,000 meters. And, uh, or Davao City down in Mindanao and Surigao City, I've been down there. I've done, uh, for those of you who don't know, I've got about 1,000 videos up uh, since 2015. I've got a lot of videos about uh, real estate condominiums. Uh, real estate salesmen in the malls would grab me and say, come and look at my condominiums. And I would take videos, put it up, and uh, it turned out there were a lot of people interested. What they look like, what you get, uh, what they cost uh, to rent and to buy. And uh, travel videos, cost of, the cost of living videos, uh, videos like this, uh, visiting various uh, islands. So anyway, please uh, check out some of my other videos. Uh, uh, if you hit the uh, thumbs up or even thumbs down, that helps the algorithms uh, for the channel, uh, which is really important in trying to grow the channel. If you're up for an adventure, you can leave the towns and cities. And there's, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of expats living close to the bigger cities, but they're far enough out where the cost of living is, is lower. Here in Cebu City, you go south to Talisai City, lots of uh, expats down there. Uh, lower rental costs, property costs, uh, or you go north just a little bit. Um, Liloan, Talisay, uh, not Talisay, north, that's south. Consolation, Compostela, a number of developments up there. Uh, you don't get the high-rise condominiums for the most part, but you get the housing developments with the townhouses uh, and single detached houses. You can buy lots. Of course, foreigners cannot own the land, they can own the building. And this is Joy, she was a, she was a guide at the resort that we stayed at, uh, Shark's Tail. She was working there and an Australian friend, uh, I, I met him over here, I learned to scuba dive there, and he is stuck in, back in Australia for like two years almost, I think, and uh, that resort, he bought it back in 2013, 2014 maybe, after the uh, hurricane came through here and did some damage, Yolanda, and uh, fixed it up, spent a lot of money there, and uh, he had a, rest a restaurant and bar as well as a diving shop that, he, uh, that was a pretty busy place, and uh, that is for sale, I understand now. So if anybody's interested, I'll put you in touch uh, with, with him. But there is vir virtually no end to the adventures. You can go out to bigger islands uh, like Bahol, uh, Mindoro, lots of different places. There is There are mountains, there are caves, there are waterfalls, there are beaches galore, uh, diving, snorkeling. Uh, just chilling at uh, in, in in the smaller towns and communities uh, or at resorts, pretty much anything, any price range that you would uh, want to do. I really love getting out here into the the real Philippine uh, culture, the more the local uh, island culture. I would also enjoy going to. I haven't I haven't been to. I've landed in Manila and taken off a couple hours later. Uh, at some point in time, I'm going to visit Manila for a month or so and uh, check out that area. I've never been to Angeles. Uh, I've seen enough videos. I pretty much know what it is. But uh, I know there are expats up there who, you know, uh, just like I lived in Vegas for many, many, many years, Las Vegas, Nevada. And I wasn't a gambler. But everybody I would meet, uh, tell them that I'm, I'm from and my family. Oh, yeah, I'm living in Las Vegas. Oh, you must be going to all the shows and out partying all the time. Uh, no, no, it's just another city. Another city, another job opportunity, another uh, uh, easy to run your business out of there. Uh, millions thou or thousands, tens of thousands of companies left uh, California, for instance. Uh, because of the uh, regulations, high taxes, and uh, move their businesses to 
Nevada. If you are a billiards player, you'll find it's a, it's a very popular sport here as well. And I'm told there are many top players here in the Philippines. I've, I've uh, met a couple foreigners who come here and, and play and learn from some of the top, top guys. This is uh, Carbone Market, big uh, public market, uh, just close to the downtown area of Cebu City. And they're going through a, modern, a modern, modernization uh, project. Um, not quite sure what the final effect of that will be. Uh, big uh, developer in the Philippines is coming in and redoing and uh, we'll, we'll have to wait. They've moved some, uh, some of the vendors out while they put up some new facilities and then they'll just continue on down the, the roads, I guess. Big area down there. Very rarely do I see any, uh, any foreigners down in that area. When I first came here, I, I told people, uh, Filipinos, I wanted to go down to Carbone Market. And I was told, no, sir, don't go down there. It's too dangerous. And it took me a couple months before I finally, that and Cologne Street, a couple months I just decided I was going down there. And uh, a little apprehensive, but uh, I didn't have any problem. I've been down there a number of times since. Uh, you, you can... Uh, you can find some of the freshest produce down there and some decent, uh, decent prices. Um, only a couple times I felt like uh, maybe somebody was getting a little too close following me and then I just stand off the side and let them pass. Uh, just be aware, like any place, you'd be aware of your surroundings. And they've got, uh, I'm told that uh, in the last few years they've uh, added a new police force down in that area as well, kind of cleaned the area up. Anyway, I hope that uh, with the renovations that they're doing, I hope they don't lose too much of the, the character and culture of that area, true Filipino culture. Now, virtually every little town and city has, uh, has a public market and uh, even sub-markets, smaller markets out there. You, you can walk and find streets out there with, uh, uh, with smaller markets, and they often buy their, their stuff from the larger markets. The market up a little bit, of course, everybody needs to make a little bit of money. So let's all hope that uh, the Philippines remains as it has been. It's been a welcoming uh, nation in, in the past, welcome, welcoming foreigners, expats, and tourists. Um, They've had, uh, I think in 2019, they had uh, 9 million uh, tourists, visitors versus Thailand, 40 million. So the Philippines has, has a lot of the same things to draw people here. And, and they've got a huge opportunity if they don't make it more difficult. And uh, uh, Thailand, as I watch Thai, some Thai news and uh, they're going through some contortions over there as they try to figure out how to attract wealthy tourists. And uh, I think the opinion of many is that the middle class tourists spend, because of the numbers, spend probably more than, than the wealthy tourists. And, uh, and help support, help support so many more businesses. Um, so the, the Philippines has an opportunity and hopefully in the very near future, uh, they will start taking advantage of that, start opening up uh, to the tourist trade, to the expats again, uh, allowing people to, uh, to visit and, and come to the country, enjoy the country. The more restrictions, the more costs, the more requirements involved, a lot of people are just gonna say, forget it, so. Anyway, good luck to you all and good luck to the Philippines. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.